Hi, I'm Saba, and first of all, I want to thank you so much for joining us here today. Along with my co-founder, Tim, we started V to make video editing simple and accessible to all through the browser. Today, I'd love to take you on that journey that we've been on and show you some of the giant leaps that we've made over the past few years. Now, we've been on quite a ride since our very humble beginnings. Having started the company from my kitchen table against all the odds with no external funding, we assembled a world-class team and grew the platform to millions of creators from all over the world. At the start of this very year, we raised our first ever round of external funding to accelerate our growth. And now I'm so incredibly proud to say that Veed is the fastest growing and largest online editing platform by traffic and engagement worldwide. Now, I really mean it when I say that it is such an honor to be building this product with our incredible team here at Veed. Of course, we enjoy overcoming the technical and design challenges, but more importantly, we love building Veed for you. Without you, we would simply not be here. So thank you so, so very much. Our users love Veed because we made something that was previously really, really hard, simple. By giving our users simple yet powerful creative tools, they're able to express themselves, promote their business, make memes, podcast videos, and so much more. We received everything from love letters to random people stopping by our office just to say hi because they saw our logo on the front door. It's also been a privilege to grow our business alongside our users, such as Anna Cabrera. Anna was a user of Veed who often sent me feedback via email. And over time, I witnessed her build her personal brand with video. Now she's turned her side hustle into her full-time job. And there are so many great stories exactly like this one. It goes without saying that video is exploding right now. 92% of all internet users interact with video on a daily basis, from memes to music videos, how-tos and live streams. And although we love video because it's so easy to consume, we still think it's incredibly hard to create. At Veed, this is exactly what we wanted to address. We saw the need to make video editing simple, accessible and fast. Over the last three years, we've been working hard to change that. And today I wanna to show you the giant leaps that we've made to make that a reality. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you all what is new in Veed. I'm gonna open up the editor now and drop in some videos. You can see that I can start editing right away with my media uploading in the background. Now this is regardless of file type or size. When you select your video, you can now see a bunch of powerful new features. We've added automatic background removal, so no need for green screening or rotoscoping. In one click, it's done. We added state-of-the-art clean audio. It removes background noises and cleans up your audio files, making it sound like your audio was recorded in a studio. We realized that many of our users were spending a lot of time manually removing silences from videos, so we added the ability for our users to do that in just one click. Another new feature we added is text-to-speech. This works in a wide range of languages and voices. Hi and welcome to the vlog. And just above the timeline, we added a built-in voiceover tool too. Both handy for narrating training and how-to videos. All users now have access to a premium stock video library with audio and sound effects. This means you don't need to jump between multiple apps to find assets to get your job done. It's all in one place. Oh, and we also added Giphy integration too, because, well, it's just fun. Our subtitle tool has had a total redesign. It makes editing subtitles feel more like a word doc. It's intuitive, helpful, and makes reviewing subtitles fast. Subtitle animations have also been added with a bunch of pre-made subtitle styles too, to make your videos really stand out. We've also added loads more text animations, elements, effects, and transitions too. And now, pretty much everything in the editor can be animated with just one simple click. Select the element, click animate, Done. Everything in Veed is collaborative and the editor works from any browser. You can invite others to a project or just share the link. And just like that, the editor opens with your project ready to edit. Moving outside of the editor, you can see we've added video templates. This lowers the barrier to making great looking videos. We've also added brand kit where you can upload assets, fonts and logos to make sure your videos always look on brand. Today, I'm really excited to share with you two new products that we've launched. Let's start with Recorder. With Recorder, you can choose to record yourself, slides and screen in any combination. We've also built in a handy teleprompter too, so you will um, never forget your lines. Once recording, you can see we have added a scenes feature, so you can quickly build up more complex compositions with more videos. And finally, you can choose from one of our pre-made themes to make your videos look more professional in just one click. Once done, you can simply share your video as a link or open it up single stream in the editor. 
allowing you to make truly amazing videos without leaving Veed. There's also a handy Chrome extension too, allowing you to initiate recordings anywhere on the web. Now, let's move to Veed Live, a place for creating engaging live streams and recording high quality podcasts, two super fast growing content types that we all absolutely love. With Live, you can invite others, up to eight participants, and stream to multiple different platforms and record in high quality too. We have added a range of interactive tools to bring you closer to your audience, such as interactive chat and banners. Your green room has full customization to make sure your videos always look great. Upload your own assets or choose from our custom created library of templates too. After you have finished your podcast or stream, your videos are automatically transcribed and now accessible from your dashboard. And now for my favorite part, you can edit this transcript like a Word doc. With this, you can export little snippets of video based on your text selections, but also open them up in the video editor. This allows you to record long form pillar content and easily repurpose that content into smaller clips. Perfect for growing your audience across multiple platforms. We think it's pretty cool. Everything we build at Veed is tightly integrated. No uploading and downloading, recording, editing, and distribution is done in one platform. A full suite of tools for content creators to make incredible looking videos. Now I'm gonna pass you over to the team to show you our creative tools in action. Hey everyone, I'm Alec, the video team lead at Veed, and today I'm gonna to show you how I use Veed to make YouTube videos, and I'm also gonna show you the specific tools that I use to save myself hours of time in the process. And with that being said, let's get started with cutting and trimming. So cutting and trimming video is probably one of the lengthiest tasks in video editing. It's boring, it's repetitive, but it's something that you just have to do. But with Veed, I don't actually have to do it. Veed does it all for me. With any video that I upload, all I have to do is click on one button, remove silence button, and within seconds, all of the awkward silence ums and ahs have been removed from my video, and that's already hours of my time saved. And now, as YouTubers and video content creators in general, we want our content to be as high quality as possible, but again, we don't necessarily have the time to spend hours polishing this content. And sometimes during the production, especially as YouTubers, we get some unplanned background noise. And when you're a run and gun vlogger, you can't go back and retake those bad takes. And I have a sound engineering degree. I know how important audio is, but I also know how time consuming cleaning and removing background noise is. Trust me on this one. But again, Veed comes in clutch and turns hours into seconds. With the click of one button, Veed analyzes my audio and removes unwanted background noise. And yes, it saves me, again, hours of time. And Veed saves me a lot of time on the lengthy and repetitive tasks, but I can also make some really cool edits in seconds. For example, here, I can remove the background of my video in one click, no masking or rotoscoping needed. I could then add some text and animate it in just a few seconds, maybe place that text behind me, and then I can change the background too using some stock footage from Veed's built-in library. And now I've made an awesome looking scene in my video in about 15 seconds effortlessly. And let me tell you why this is great. There's, there's two reasons. First of all, changes in the video are great for what we call pattern interrupt. It keeps the viewers engaged and then it boosts my watch time on YouTube, which leads to a growing audience on YouTube. So I just reach more people. And second, Veed has loads of tools that allow me to focus on creativity without any learning curve, meaning that I can create an edit which is engaging that I love and that more importantly, that my viewers will love and all of that in no time. And speaking of my viewers, being based in France, a big part of my audience is French. Et faire la même vidéo dans une autre langue prendrait beaucoup trop de temps, mais je ne veux pas que mon audience française se sente exclue. Check this out. If I click on the subtitles tab, I can automatically generate the subtitles in the language that I'm talking in. I can install them, I can change the font, the color, and even animate them, right? But the magic here is that I can translate them into French and then download them as closed captions so I can upload them with my English video to YouTube so my French audience can watch along too. One video, two audiences. And I'm just scratching the surface here. I'm not jumping from software to software, from tool to tool, with a bunch of different subscriptions that I can't even keep track of. Like I mentioned earlier, just to give you a quick example, Veed has a built-in stock footage library, but it's also got a full library of music, sound effects, that you can use in all of your YouTube videos without getting copyrighted. Now that is how I save hours of my time with every video, thanks to Veed, and how you can too. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm working on product here at Veed and it's part of my job to get everybody on board and excited about what we're building. I used to do this via emails and boring text documents, but no one ever read those. When I use video, I get a lot of responses and feedback and everybody's generally very excited about it. 
So let me show you how I do that. I'm working on this mobile app and I wanted to share a presentation about it with my team. I'm going through a screen recorder and this time I'm going to select slides and camera because I want to upload some slides. I can just drag my slides into the recorder and the cool thing is it now looks like this. I have my slides here on the left and I can just talk over them while I record. This time I'm actually not quite sure of what I want to say yet. So I'm going to use our teleprompter to write down a script so that I won't forget what I want to tell my team. And now I can just start recording and I can go over my slides without forgetting what I wanted to tell. So after I'm done, this actually looks kind of cool, but I think we can do better. So I'm going to go to themes and select my favorite team, which is the dimensions team. And the reason I really like this team is because it separates my face from the content of the slides. So everybody can clearly see what I'm talking about. So for me, when I do a demo, I want to show more than just slides. So I'm actually going to present the design as well. And I can just add that to this video. So I'm going to click record again, but this time, instead of selecting slides, I'm going to select my screen and select my design app. So now when I click record, we will record Figma, which is the app that has the designs in them. So now I can just show the designs to my team to get some feedback on that as well. So when I'm done, I click stop. I can just click finish and share a page in which my team can give me feedback. Or if I wanna add background music or subtitles or all sorts of cool effects, I can click edit and it will open here right in the editor. And I can start editing and making some tweaks to make it really stand out. So yeah, that's basically how I present these videos in my team and I hope this helps you. Hi guys, I'm Lauren, I'm a travel YouTuber and I love to use live streaming as a way of connecting with my audience. So today I'm going to show you how I use Veed Live for my own personal channel and how I make over 10 clips out of one amazing and engaging live stream. Firstly, we're going to open up Veed Live here and enter the studio. Now, I've already got my studio set up, but I do want to customize this stream. I'm going to add a banner because today I want to do a Q&A with my audience. So I'll click on banner in the left toolbar here and I've already typed out what I wanted to say. So I'll just click show on stream. Now I can customize this here. I can change the color and under shadow, if I turn that blur off all the way to zero, you'll see how cool it looks now. Now I do want this to be, for lack of a better word, clickable. So I will upload this photo of myself looking really nervous about what you guys are about to ask me. And I'll just move that into the corner there. And there we go. Now, let's say that I wanna do a podcast. I can easily invite my guests to join here by clicking on the three lines up the top, then clicking invite others. Now I can just copy that link and share that with my podcast guests. To start live streaming, we now need to hit set up broadcast. And in here now, you can choose whichever social media platforms that you wanna to stream to. I'm gonna select YouTube here and then fill out those streaming details. Then I just gotta save the settings and then click go live now to start streaming. So let me start this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am foregoing my right to privacy and allowing you, my subscribers, to ask me anything. Now you'll see up the top here, there's a chat tab. If I open that, I can pin comments or questions on the screen, which is really helpful. Now, once we're finished the live stream, this is where VLive really comes into its own because I can then review my video. It's already transcribed all of that audio, which means I can then save that as an SRT file. I can use this for subtitles. I can then highlight sound bites here and use just that portion of the video simply by highlighting that text here and clicking open in the editor. I can then resize my video to fit any social media platform. So this is amazing for repurposing video into short form content because I can then use these really small segments as a teaser trailer on let's say my Instagram story or my TikTok. For this instance, I'm gonna select TikTok. I can then resize it. I can pull on the corners and sides here. I'll select a really bright color for the background, which will make it pop. And lastly, I'm just gonna add some automatic subtitles and click export. So from that one YouTube live stream, I can then create numerous videos in all aspect ratios and use them to grow my audience across all my social media platforms. It's literally that easy. And that's it for me. All of these demos are so, so cool. Everything that you see today is available right now. If you've not done already, go over to veed.io and create yourself a free account. There is already a lot of powerful AI tools in Veed to help you edit videos much faster, such as automatic subtitling, translations, background removal, and audio cleaning. But recently, there have been huge advances in AI, and our team has been working hard to bring those cutting edge tools to you. In the coming months, we are launching text to image generation for when you can't find the right stock image. 
Also, the ability to simply erase anything from a video that you don't want, just by highlighting it. One-click motion tracking, automatic dubbing, and finally, synthetic text to video. All of this inside our little online video editor. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the whole team at Veed who have built this product from the ground up. So much time and effort goes into designing and building everything and every little detail that compounds and results into the product that you see here today. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so, so much for watching. You can reach out to me on Twitter or pretty much any other social platform. I love hearing feedback and ideas and story from our community of creators. That's all for today. Thank you so, so much. We hope you enjoyed what we've built. And from me and the whole team at Veed, we just want to say a big thank you. Goodbye. All right. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Joining us for this question and answer sections. This is your time to ask that question about Veed, either what we've just gone through or what the future holds for us. Uh, just type in your question in the chat on whatever platform you're on, and we will take care of the answering. I'm Thomas, I'm the host, and of course, we've got Seba with us as well. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so, we, we just have to focus the camera now then because it keeps going out, but I think we're in now. But yeah, no, I'm Saba. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been a lot of fun preparing this event and it's so lovely for, I don't know, I'm just having a great time. So Thomas, why don't we hit and go for the first question? Yeah, let's do it. So there was a lot of people that asked a lot of good questions. So I'll pull them, pull them up here before it all starts it. Um, this one particularly actually resonates a lot with me because I remember how hard it was to learn about how to edit videos years back when I started. And so we have uh, Mahmoud here who, who asks, um, is there ever going to be a Veed Academy in the future? So I think the team's working super hard on this right now, but I think we have a Veed University and this takes you through basically all our tools, how they work. And it's a complete masterclass in learning how to use Veed. I do know there are plans also early next year for a more holistic view of video to help you improve speaking with the camera, building an audience and engaging people. So there's a lot more to come on that, but check out, I think someone can hopefully put it in the chat, the Veed University on YouTube, definitely a great place to go. Thank you for your question. All right, and yeah, just keep checking them into the chat and then we will do the answering. Um, I've got another one here from Michal. He asks, um, it would be great to hear what tools, filters, templates that you have uh, that could make it easier to post across different social platforms. That's a good one. That is a really good one. It's like, it's something we're thinking about a lot at the moment, especially with live, being able to like have a long form piece of pillar content and then make multiple different smaller clips from it is like a super, I suppose, popular way to grow audiences across multiple platforms, specifically with shorts. This workflow is definitely top of mind as we built our live product, but also within the main feed editor, you can select different parts of your video and export them as like little snippets. And I think we're just trying to build tools that are going to allow you to just be super creative and take little bits of video and then send them out, resize them for different aspect ratios too. And um, yeah, I think you'll like it. So go check out in the editor, the export slice feature. I think we've got a YouTube video on that as well and give the live streaming a go to because I think that's a super powerful workflow. Okay, that's good. Oh, I see a lot of questions are coming in here. Um, I like this one from Joe Lynn as well. Like, is, is Veed good for beginners? Yes. So the like, I was a beginner at video editing and I was trying to use a lot of packages myself, uh, traditional software programs, and I found it so hard to just, I don't know, like get over a lot of the hurdles. So Veed was specifically designed with beginners in mind, but also not limit you creatively at all to be able to express yourself and create the video that you want. And so that's been super important to us. And it's what we've been kind of driving forward. We've been trying to do it. So you can just jump in the editor. You can literally just go to v.io and you can jump in without even signing up, have a play around, see how it feels. I think you'll like it. Uh, but obviously any feedback, just let us know. We're here to help. Yeah, a lot of questions are coming in here. Let's let's go through them uh, here. So I see this one as well. Uh, there's a stealth name on this question. It's Z. Uh, will you ever release a Veed phone app? So great question. And the answer is yes. Um, we have got the first version of our app into the App Store and it just focuses on subtitling and captioning right now. But we have been building a team and next year we're going to be going full force on mobile to bring all the features that we have in the Veed uh, browser editor into mobile and also be able to sync work between the two platforms. So you could potentially be shooting out on your iPhone and then do a little rough edit and then really polish that later. 
in the browser version. Or potentially, if you're working with a couple of different creators and friends, you can like all collaborate in one workspace. And I think having the optionality of editing from any device, but also collaborate with multiple people is just a super powerful workflow. So it's a, yeah, definitely next year is a big year for mobile, but do check out the Veed Caption app that we have right now and let us know what you're thinking, how you want, to, you know, want us to evolve it over time too. Yeah, definitely excited for the mobile app. Um, here, here's a question as well uh, that, yeah, I mean, when you're making videos very often and you're doing a lot of the same things, um, you'll find yourself repeating a lot of things. And so I like this question from Allison. Uh, and she asked, can you add your own branding to backgrounds, et cetera? As in, so, so what you want to add like logos and stuff like that? I'm, I'm guessing that that might be what Allison is getting at here. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Um, the easiest way is to upload your branding to the brand kit within Veed. This way you can upload your own fonts, your own logos, different intros and outros that you might use regularly as well. And this way, when you're actually in the editor, you can pull those assets that you frequently use. So you can just go over to the settings, I think on the video, click on image, and then select from your brand kit, your branding as the background, and just like that, it's done. The other thing to mention that we have got as well is custom templates. And this is a way for you basically to create a project, and with that project, kind of set some default assets. And the next time you go into your custom template, you can just replace one of them, and it just makes editing videos so much more simple, and it takes a lot of legwork out of it. So definitely give that a try too. We also have a question come in from Maggie here about our live streaming uh, that we're obviously on right now. And she asks, what platform do you multi-stream to? Um, so this is really exciting because we're actually using all our own software today to be giving you this live stream. And that's like, I just think it's super cool. So, you know, thanks to the whole team at V, we've been working hard to make this happen. We stream to so many different platforms, uh, but we also have a custom RMTMP, I think it's called. And what this allows you to do is basically take that kernel level of streaming details and plug that into any different platform you like. So even if there's a new platform that's you know just up and coming, you can normally use those details. But I think out of the box, it's YouTube, potentially LinkedIn, um, Twitch, Twitter. I'm getting I'm, someone's talking in my ear and they're telling me YouTube. Um, no, but there's a bunch. Just but you can you know, just go in, make a free account, and you can stream completely for free as well. So there's no, there's nothing stopping you. So give it a go. Yeah, and while we're on the note of free, I see we have another question coming in here from uh, someone anonymous as well that asks, hold on, this is a lot. Um, does, do you get all these features in the free version? How does that work? Yes, um, I think the, the barriers to like, you know, the reason why we exist is because we want to make video editing and video as a whole simple and accessible. And before you'd have to buy a really expensive camera, you'd have to download, you know, get a really expensive laptop that can run this software. So everything that we're about is actually being super accessible for anyone to just get started creating videos. So there is free plans and they're really generous. They let you do pretty much what 90% of 90% of all the features that we have in V. I think we let you try some of our most powerful features as well, complete for free. And if you want, I think you could, the, the, the lowest level subscription is I think only $14 a month. Um, and with that, you get access to our most powerful tools. And there's different tiers. Uh, so there's a business tier as well for sort of like power users and teams. Um, but yeah, you can literally get started doing loads of stuff with Veed and it's completely for free. So just go and create an account and have a play. Cool. We've got one from Walter here as well that I like, which is he mentions text to image, text to video sound exciting that we just went through. Is there more AI coming that might fundamentally change how we make videos? It's such an interesting question. And the short answer is yes. And I'll try and explain why. Um, so we've always had a lot of AI tools powering the from automatic subtitling to background removal, translation, transcription. And these have been super popular features. So we've invested really heavy in it. We, there's a lot of really interesting stuff specifically uh, in AI happening right now. And our team are literally experimenting on a daily basis trying to work out and product, like productize these, these features for our users. The thing that we need to keep in mind though, is we, as I said, I want V to be simple and accessible. So it's the right level of ab abstraction with this technology and also with the right use cases. We don't want to give you tools for the sake of tools. We want to give you tools because they're actually helpful and they work really seamlessly. So yes, 
you know, team's really working on it and uh, we've got some really exciting stuff coming. And yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing it with you when that comes out, hopefully this year. Yeah, exciting stuff. Um, I've got another good one here that I like, which is um, from, again, an anonymous uh, uh, viewer. Um, they're saying we're quite reliant on still, I guess it's in still imagery as well, as well as video. Um, do you have any plans to introduce more features when working with still, such as transition between images? Yeah. So I think what we found quite a lot is that people often come to Veed um, or maybe don't have like a video strategy and they're trying to get into video. So using stills and like adding motion and transitions and text animations to them is a really popular way to just get started. We are, we have full image support. You can edit images basically like videos and you can make them last durations. You can put like compilations together. You can do a Ken Burns effect where you can zoom in on a part of an image to make it look like a video. Um, so the short answer is yes. Um, you can just literally start uploading content, rearrange it, compose it how you like. And also you can use our templates as well, where you can just swap out a couple of assets with your images. And then just like that, a video is done. Good stuff. Um... I have a quick question from Al here as well. And Al asks, what happens to my uploaded materials if I pause or cancel the subscriptions? Absolutely nothing. We keep them for you. They're completely safe. If you pause or cancel, they're there. So don't worry about your content. We're looking after it. It's not going anywhere. And we just want to make it super easy for you to, you know, use video and feed when you need to. So yeah, don't worry about that. It's in, it's in good hands. Cool. We also have a question coming in here about our uh, translations that we just saw just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um, and the question is, how, how accurate is the translations into other languages? Is yeah. it using Google Translate or something more precise? Yeah. So the way that we do translation is super interesting. Um, different providers have different results with transcripts. Um, so what we do is we take uh, a bunch of different videos, we transcribe them, we translate them, and we look at how accurate they are. And that way we can kind of like send your videos to the right AI based on how successful it is at translating your individual language. Obviously, if you have a really good English or whatever language video that's been success successfully transcribed and you've checked it all and then you go on to translate, it's pretty good. However, if it's going out to a large audience or you're a business, I definitely would get it checked over by a native speaker. But that's super easy. You can just grab the link to the video just in the, in, the, in the address bar, ping it to someone to have a look. They don't need to install anything. They can just have a little review for you. Or potentially, uh, you can share the video view page where they can leave like timestamp comments to help you on that too. So all the tools are there for you to translate videos to your heart's content. Cool. Lots of good questions coming in. Lots I think of we'll, questions. We'll take a couple more before we end the Q&A session. Yeah, we've got a few minutes left. We can go over if we need to, but let's see. So we've got uh, one coming in here from Joseph. I like this one. This is direct. Joseph says, Seba, can V replace Loom and Canva? Or what's the deal? Um, yeah, good question. So Canva um, is a fantastic tool and comes from more of a graphic um, background, basically. And I think they did add some video features in, um, but definitely not to the same level as what we're offering here at Feed. Also, I think Canva's got a whole suite of tools from like whiteboarding and document editing as well, but we are solely focused on the video problem. So if you need videos, we are definitely the place to go. Uh, and specifically on Loom, I love that tool. Um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, and it's very much geared up for async communication. So I can send you a quick message and I ping it to you on Slack. The way that we're thinking about screen recording at Veed is a little bit different. We're thinking about how can you make a great looking video that you wanna share and put on your YouTube channel, for example. So our tools are more geared up to making really professional looking crisp videos that look amazing every time. You've got all of these brand new um, templates that you can try and like style your videos differently with one click. Um, and a bunch of tools for like recording slides and then also editing these videos single screen so you can get a lot of control of how your actual end video looks. So um, yeah, we can replace them. We can't, but like, I think it's, you know, whatever works for you and it depends on what you're trying to achieve. 
Well, I know that I have definitely replaced them with weed by now. I'm just trying to be, you know. <laughs> um, I like this question from Jill Lynn as well. Um, obviously, we're in the lead recording tool right now. She says, can the video live feature work without streaming to social media? Like, yes, what if can. I just want to use it for recording interviews? Yes, it can indeed. So it's amazing. You can record high-quality podcasts with the tool. You can record internally. You don't need to record live. You can invite multiple participants. And all that content is automatically transcribed, editable, and shareable from the V platform. So it's not just a live streaming platform. It's a podcasting platform. It's a recording tool for remote participants. We use it internally for, well, doing events like this, but also internally in our Slack. We use it for our all hands. And there's so many possibilities. So give it a try. Maybe we need to work on the messaging a little bit of V live. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, it's, yeah, great for recording and podcasting, as well as streaming. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's do one or two more questions and then finish off the, key, the question and answers. So uh, I've got one coming in here from Arts, and Arts asks, where can I see content completed with our, in our system? Where can I see content completed in our system? I guess. Um, well, that would be in your dashboard. If you go to just log into Veed, you should, by default, go into your account, which is v.io forward slash account, I believe. And then just on the left-hand side, you can click a button that says all projects. And then there will just be a long list of all the projects that you ever created. And also, it will tell you what tool you created them in. So if you created them from our recorder, there will be a little badge. From the editor, a little badge. And from live, a little badge too. So simple way to navigate that. We got time for one more? Yes, yeah, we do one more. Just one more. Okay, yeah. we'll, okay we'll do one more. Um, I've got this one coming in here, which is Will you have real dynamic text templates, not only just plain animated text? Yes. Um, part of in the update video we did, you might have seen that we've added animated elements. And this basically means everything can be animated. So text is animated. But the elements that are around text as well can also be animated. So the possibilities are literally endless. And I know the team and the editor have been working super hard on text animations and all the other crazy things that they've been adding in the animation space. And, it's, and our art department team have been now using those tools to make even more dynamic videos and templates for you guys. So yes, it's all coming. Um, it's getting more and more exciting because the more interesting tools we build our own internal team can make better templates for you too. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it's I think it's really important to be able to make dynamic videos just from text for the same reason why someone else asked earlier about can I edit from just photos? People don't necessarily have video content ready to edit, but they want video. So yeah, you can do it and more and more is coming there. Cool. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's end it here. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone. Should we say goodbye? Let's say goodbye. Bye. Thank Bye. you so Thank much. You. And thanks to the whole team at Lead. Let's go.